007 again. Hello chip tippers, welcome to Retro Recipes, and welcome to this very special unboxing, a rather unexpected unboxing, an unexpecting, you could call it, I suppose. Uh, Retro Games Limited and Atari have sent us this special box, and I'm told they've only sent what's in here out to a couple of people in the whole world, which is kind of amazing. Unfortunately, though, it arrived a little bit too late for our monthly show, The Retro, the Retro show, show, which means, well, that was the bad news. The good news is it means we get to do this dedicated unboxing for them instead. Hmm, maybe that was their plan all along. So let's take a look at their mini Atari 400, the full production version that's in here. We'll compare it to the prototype that I did in a recent video, a full review of, and much more. So welcome to this very special Retro Recipes Fun Boxing. I wonder if what's in here is as fun of an unboxing as the recent uh, stuff that we unwrapped. This, we unboxed and unpackaged this special gift to Lady Fractic in Atari 400 wrapping paper. We did that on the retro show as well. In fact, this episode may be coming out before you've even seen that. So subscribe so you don't miss that. But get rid of that. Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. Uh, let's just get started. I'm too excited for any more waffling. Let's get unboxing. A bit disappointing they shipped it upside down, but nothing we can't rectify. Look at this! Oh, so that's a magnetic box. That's rather fancy. What else we could stick to that? Yeah, it sticks. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a bit of a spanner. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's somewhat shifted in transit. But that's okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I say that's one side. We'll look at that properly in a second. Same with this little guy. And let's just see what else is in here real quick. How do I get in here? That's the question. Never more than this if I wanted to know. What's in the box? Oh, hello. I've got to say, I dig this 70s backdrop here. Now, just before I dig into here, I should explain there is a review embargo on this finished production model. So although we've done a review before of this, the prototype, uh, when you are watching this unboxing, that will explain why this isn't a full review. Beautiful, look at that. A very large t-shirt. Yes, XL, they might've heard that I was expecting. <laughs> and something you can never have too many of. A new mug. Oh, cool. So they've got their other lineup here. Oh, they are all in scale, actually, aren't they? That means I should get out the other ones and compare them. We'll do that as well in just a tick. And then finally, we've got oh, awesome hologram stickers. My, look at that. <laughs> if my studio looks a mess next time you tune in, covered in stickers, you're going to know why. These are some of the games that come with it. Berserk, Minor 2049er. Mule, a famous four-player game there, because you can use four joysticks with this. Star Wars, I mean Raiders, and, and Lee. The Bruce Lee game, which apparently his family wouldn't sign off on using his full name. So they just called him Lee. Probably, as I said, probably because he's from Manchester or something. Here we go. That's the full size and that's the mini. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that, but that's, that is lovely. God. And if you missed that first video I did about the prototype, then you will have not, not realized by now that the Atari 400 was my first ever personal computer that I actually owned. So it's very special to me. There's a box inside a box inside a box. And to answer what's in the box, in the box. Ah, uh, yes. All the other goodies. Quick start guide. So I was American and Irish there, that's impressive. So we've got unpacking, setting up, plug in your four joysticks. Very quick, quick start guide, wasn't it? And then we've got our free beige HDMI cable. I don't actually have the beige ones, so that's good. And power, USB-C, because we've all got 
a little dongle, haven't we? Speaking of little dongles, look at that one. So that's going to have our, I think, some some uh, extra games, perhaps. I know it's got basic on it, Atari basic. Yeah. Now, interestingly, when I resprayed this, I wasn't able to find a new sticker. Um, I had an issue with mine. So actually, the Mini is more authentic than my original in a way, because he's got the little sticker on him here. Compare undersides, if that's your thing. And of course, it had no ports at the back, except for this little power switch. All the ports were on the side. You've got power, power, and that was for the cassette player or this or disk drive. Serial, essentially. Whereas this, nothing on the side, everything on the back. So you've got another USB there. You can put your, well, let's just put our dongle in there. Nice. HDMI out, USB power, and a power button with a little dot on it. Whew. God, I'm in love, man. I am in love. And the joystick, the CX stick. Wow, nice to see the finished article. So it's got these extra buttons here. A button there, of course, and two more here for home and select. Now, I did say it'd be interesting to compare the prototype with this one. Here is the prototype. And that, of course, exactly the same size because they came out of the same tooling. But uh, yeah, nice to compare the colors, see the ports installed, see that we've moved from micro USB to USB-C. And that's really the only, only differences I can see here. <laughs> and they've done the same as they did for the A500 Mini for me. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> 007 again. Look at that, serial number seven. Just touches me because, you know, if I'd had I probably had like serial number 1 million of the Atari 400, the original. And comparing the joysticks, here they are. This one very unfinished. It has this glossy finish, for that, which I quite liked, but I can understand it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet for all those sweaty gaming sessions. But now I've got the red paint on the uh, side buttons here and the fire button is red plastic. Everything else again, Essentially the same. Tiny bit more solid. I think you're going to have a hard time breaking this. <laughs> no. And I think one more thing we should do, as I mentioned, is a size comparison of the whole fleet. Let me go get those. Now, if you forget the scale that you've seen previously, this could just be a full size Commodore 64, Atari 400, and Amiga 500, couldn't it? And now the giant is coming. Stomp, stomp, stomp. That fun aside, and these aside, they did say that I can't power this up, but they didn't say, it just didn't happen to mention anything about uh, unscrewing it. So I'm um, going to be a little bit of a cheeky 007 here, and let's look inside. Okay, so the little power light is connected up onto the top chassis there, USB hub, and then our main PCB. Seeing this PCB it does remind me of PCB Way, where you can get great quality PCBs like these ones that they sent me, starting from just five bucks. And don't forget their dedicated retro stuffs section with 3D printed retro case replacements, cartridges, motherboards, and more. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifactic's Cheeky Breakdown. Now, shall I be super ultra cheeky and uh, pop that out of there, little ribbon cable. I do notice it has a weight just to make it feel a bit more substantive. Ta -da! There are said weights. No reason to do those straight, but I'm not sure if there's a technical reason for them to be lopsided. I'm sending it back immediately. This is unacceptable. <laughs> but let's have a look at the who she be. So here she be. 
Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. It's got the back side as well. Retro Games Limited. So as with the A500 Mini, the processor is stuck under some heat. Yeah, some heat sink. So uh, I'm not going to pull that off, but I will put on screen what the processor is in there. And then our other chips are RAM. And we've got some capacitors, resistors, and all the other jazz. And I was looking for any kind of Easter egg on the motherboard, like they did for the Amiga. Uh, a little play on words with the B4. B42s? B52s, if I remember rightly, um, because the original Amigas did. But I suppose the original Atari's didn't have any kind of, you know, code names like Rock Lobster. So this is more straightforwardly labeled the 400 version 02. That being version 01, and indeed being serial number one, if you remember, prototype serial number one. I'm actually going to be raffling both of these off in an upcoming raffle here on the channel. I'm not launching it just yet, but I will put the link below where you can follow my raffles on raffle.com. That way you'll be notified as soon as they go live. We're going to, as always, give a proportion of the funds to charity and some other surprises in there as well. In case you missed it, enter our raffle now or you could win Kit Tesla, the real world modern day kit from Knight Rider, worth around $100,000 with 10% of the raffle proceeds going to charity. Just like Kit, he features the Kit Scanner, full self-driving where available, Kit-inspired steering yoke, auto doors, trunk and hood, which emits the Kit turbine whine and super pursuit mode effects, Kit wheels, rear wing, wheel arches, a slick black wrap and just too much more to list here. Oh, and a cockpit doc for our upcoming AI kit app so he can remind you how clever you were to enter the raffle at bit.ly slash win Tesla. The link's also in the description and remember one ticket can make a difference. Good luck. But yeah if you want to own serial number one or serial number seven double oh seven then that will be your chance to do that because frankly, I am running out of room here in the studio and I've got another one on the way anyway, and I don't need three. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that's all I'm allowed to show you today. So I'm gonna go and play with it in secret and I'll share the results with you very soon because we're doing a special video. As I mentioned, it was always my dream to get the Empire Strikes Back working on my Atari 400. That was never possible because it was never released for the 400, but a version has been found that will run on the emulator that's inside there. So we're going to be doing just that and making my childhood dream come true. You guys joining me for this video has been a dream come true. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe and support below and cheerio. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes.